Good afternoon, Facebook. Steve Woody here, Midday Mastery, episode number 30. 30 days I've been doing this now, and that is consistency. And it's also the reason I've got another 1,000 followers on my social media. It's pretty amazing, right? Maybe you should consider what can you do every single day for the next 30 days, and how can you measure that? I've been doing a Facebook Live every day at midday for the last 30 days, weekdays, and as a result of that, I've got a thousand new followers. That's in 30 days. Organic. Haven't paid for it. So thank you. Thank you very much. I'm really, honestly, I'm so grateful the fact that you've endured me for this length of time. You can always check out all the previous episodes there on YouTube. Today, Monday morning, I hope you're well. I hope you're good. I'm going to talk to you for about 10 minutes. I've got the timer on. I'm pumped. I'm ready to go. Everything's good. Can you just give me a thumbs up or a comment? Let me know if you can hear me okay, because I've got the lapel mic, and I want to make sure it's okay. I'm not talking to myself. Can you hear me? Can you hear me okay? Hello? Is anybody out there? I can see you all watching. You're like they're quite stalker lurker types, right? I'm gonna go through something today with you, really, really, really simple. It is called the product matrix. Now, uh, this was introduced to me uh, via a video that I watched about a week ago now. And it was the only video that I've ever seen that really explained the topic so well. And I thought, wow, that concept is brilliant. Like, I love the concept. Hey, Hazma, how you doing? Nice to see you. Uh, Maria, hey, good to see you on here. Hi, everyone, by the way, and happy Monday. Uh, this concept was really, really simple. It's called the Trinity of Trinities. And I thought, it's really, really interesting. How can I apply that into the business? Because what I didn't realize is I was already using it. I just never put a model around it before. So I thought, wow, if I create this model, then we can use it. Hamaza. Nice. Good to see you. If I could create this model, the holy trinity of trinities, then maybe you could use it in your business. Now, this is so simple, so simple, but it makes a big difference. If you're in the early startup phase and you're looking to um, automate, to systemize, and to create your products, this is a really good product grid. I call it the product matrix. That's just a name that I've given it. I don't know if it exists. Rhett, hello, good afternoon, good evening for you, sir. Uh, where, where you are uh, in the world, over in Korea. Um, this is a really simple system. Now, the idea behind it is that it works on two axes, okay? There's nine grids. So the bottom axis, we're going to call this skill level, okay? Now, the skill level basically means beginner, intermediate, advanced, or it could be entry, um, core, advanced, whatever you want to call it, but I like to call it the skill level. It really depends, but people who are just new to whatever it is you're doing and offering, this is where they would start, and people who are up to speed and understand or a more advanced level will be here. Make sense? And then the other axis is budget. So we have skill and budget. Now, what do I mean by this? Anybody that starts in grid one, okay, in grid one, they're gonna start at the early skill level. So we have one, two, three. So at the early skill level, we have a low budget. So no skill, no budget. This should be a free or cheap, either a loss leader, an opt-in, something that doesn't require much skill and something that doesn't require much budget. This here should be automated. This should require zero, zero attention from you once it's set up. No time, no money, no energy, nothing. You've created it, you've set it up, it's done. You leave it. People come into the system, they check it out, they come out of the system. That's it. So this is your low skill level, low budget. Make sense? Give me a thumbs up if you're with me so far. You can probably see where we're going with this now. The next is in the same skill level, and it may even be these are three different products. You may have product one, product two, and product three. Now there's a reason that we do things in threes. A, B, C, one, two, three, ready, steady, go, whatever you want to consider, you know, Goldilocks and the three bears, however you look at it, right? Things work really well in threes. As human beings, we just like things in three. And so the reason that this model was explained to me uh, the way it was explained so well was because, and I'm probably going to mess this up, but I'm going to give it a quick go. It was 
um, when you consider you've got space, you've got time, and you've got matter. Okay, so you need space, time, and matter, and they need to exist together. Like, if you have space, and you have matter within that space, but there's no time, then when do you put it? There's past, present, future. All right, if you've got space but no matter, there's nothing to put into that space, so it doesn't exist. Okay, when you look at matter, you've got height, width, length, whatever you want to call it. I think it was like gas, uh, the other three, I'm not that scientific. When you look at space, you've got height, width, length. When you look at matter, got gas, solid, solid, liquid. When you look at time, you've got um, past, present, future. It's like a trinity of trinities. Okay, you've got like this grid. And so I thought, wow, that was a brilliant concept. How can I map it onto the business? So this is how we do it. So product one, entry level product, core product, advanced product. Thank you. So clever. I'm going to take that. I hope you're talking about me and not this. Because I, 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 if you're calling me clever, like, honestly, I'll stalk you and I'll, I'll keep going for the compliments because I love them. I'm grateful for them. I thought this was quite good, to be honest. Um, so here, entry level, low skill, low budget, entry level. This is what you spend. It's called an MVP. People call this an MVP. It's a minimum viable product. It is what can you get out into the marketplace to test to make sure that your stuff works. Because there's no, like, I've seen this. I've seen people do this. They'll be like, I'm going to create the best system in the world and I'm going to spend the next two years developing this amazing system. And they don't even know if there's a market for it. So we need to understand that before we build something, I'm not saying put something crap out there. 80% Pareto principle, right? 80 20 rule. Get something that's 80%, that's quick, that's easy, that's agile, that you can put out. Make sure it works. That's all you need to do. Just make sure it works. When it works, then you can move up. So the way, that, and I'll explain in a minute how I've done this for my business and you can map it and see how it works. So this is low budget, right? This is automated. Medium budget, normally, I'm not saying all the time, but normally, this is do it yourself, okay? That's the do it yourself route. This is done with you or in a group environment. And this is normally done for you. So do it yourself, done with you, done for you. Does that make sense? So when you're looking at the skill level, if they haven't got a lot of money, they do it themselves. If they've got a lot of money and they don't wanna do it, because time's more valuable to them, you do it for them. So this is where you will invest your time. This is where you will invest your systems. You have the systems in place, to nurture the people so that they can then join you at a later stage. Why do you think I'm spending so long right now building the systems for my clients and working with them over the next six weeks? It's because I'm pushing them to the next level. Because I know that if I nurture clients, they stick around a lot longer. They respect, they appreciate, you know, we have a better relationship because of it. Like, I don't want to always be trying to grab new business all the time. I want to automate as much of that as I can to nurture people automatically so that they get few results, few results, few results, bit more money, reinvest, reinvest, and the ones that are serious, they come in here. So, entry level, okay? Some people want to jump straight in. Some people are mad. Some people go for it this way. So, we have an entry level here. This is more of like maybe a, a core offer. Right, so this here, I would say, should be your core offer. And this should be your upsell. And this should be your, um, what's next? Okay, so normally what you do is you'd have a, a minimum viable product that would upsell into the core offer with an upsell if they want it uh, save time and then what's next? Like this is a, t a typical journey we'll take. All right, it doesn't matter how you play bingo, you can get it anywhere you want. Convince me so I can buy in, nothing to buy into. I'm not selling you anything, nothing to buy into. This is just purely take it, use it in your business. I'm not selling anything right now. There's nothing for you to buy on this. This is purely take it, make it work, and then tell me how good it is. This is a model I'm looking, this is a model you're looking at. This is a model that you're looking at right now. Okay, I'm only joking, my friend. I'm, having, I'm in a good mood today. It's a good day. I went to bed at about three o'clock this morning. So I had a client um, come over yesterday. Um, spend, so from yesterday morning at eight o'clock in the morning, I started working on this client's site. And we worked through until about half 11 at night. I then continued working. So after she left, I continued working until about three o'clock in the morning just to get the site finished. Uh, and I was back up again at eight this morning. So it's like, well, I had a call at eight this morning. So I was back up at seven. 
So I'm kind of wired at the moment, and this was like, I really want to get this out there for you guys. So, um, very useful. Awesome. No worries. So this, anyway, this is the reason I'm doing this, is that if you have uh, your minimum viable product into your core offer, upsell, what's next? Do it yourself, done with you, done for you. Skill versus budget, okay? That will make sense. So the next thing I want you to consider is what I do here, like just to map this onto my business so that it kind of makes sense for you. If you consider my, um, my brand, Online Mastery, right? And you consider that I've got my plan, yeah? I've got my build. Look at me getting all creative with my colors. And I've got my promote, yeah? My three areas. So the way that I work this, and I didn't even realize I'd done it. I kind of did this and I was like, oh my God, I've already done this. And it works. And look, I'm gonna give you something at the end of this Facebook Live. So if you hang about, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you exactly how I use this to make four grand in 24 hours with no advertising budget whatsoever. I just use this model. And I'll tell you how I've also used this to make 30 grand last month because it works. Like this isn't just me going, oh Paul Sanker, I'm like, wow, I've tested this, it works. You should have this. Like right now, you should all be doing this or at least mapping it out because this shit works really well. So plan for my business, plan your website. People who want to do it themselves, don't have a budget, they will get my book, okay? So this is my book here. Let me just uh, scrub these out for a minute so that you can get this. Don't worry, this isn't gonna take long. I'm well aware of the time today and I don't wanna to spend too much time on this. But this is my book, all right? Book is a really, really easy way for people that don't have a lot of money um, and it's an early skill level, they can get my book. I also do live events. Now, I'm not doing any at the moment, but this is where they can do it in a group environment. They can plan their website in a live environment. Or I do consultation. Again, I'm not doing any consultations at the moment because it's just I don't want to. I don't need to at the moment. I'm more than happy with where I am and what I'm doing that I've shut that off and I've shut that off and the only thing people can do right now is buy my book, that's it. And I'm happy with that because it's a nurture process, right? But here you go, this is the difference, five pounds, 200 pounds, 1,000 pounds. That's what I charge, that's what people pay for that service. So you can see the budget, yeah? So the reason I did that is because I asked myself the question, how can I help people when I don't have the time? How can I continue to help people? If people don't have the money, and that's a, a sticking point for them, what can I do, how can I help them? That's the only question I asked, how can I help? How can I help people? And so that was when I decided I need a book. Because if I haven't got my time, I can give them a book instead. So when I was asking that, I, I didn't even realize that I created this. So then, after they've done this, wherever they are, now obviously they're gonna to move to the next stage, okay? And it may be that they decide to go that way, they may decide to go that way, it depends. There's no right or wrong answer here. But when we look at four, five, and six, so this would be an online course to build a website, okay? This would be uh, my one-click website. Uh, well, uh, my one hour website, sorry, where it's built in an hour, and they use a template. So this is online course, do it yourself. Again, this is uh, using a template, uh, and this is done for you, so um, get the team to build it for you. Again, you're looking at 350 pound, you're looking at 1,000 pound, you're looking at three to 12 grand. So it, it varies in price, depending on what you want. So the people who don't have a high budget, now for the sake of like 350 pound, can plan and build their website on their own. 350 pounds, plan and build your website, it's pretty damn cheap. Especially when you consider that over this alone, there's about 200 videos, right? Normally people that plan their website on their own, in my experience, through the thousands of people that have gone through my course now, that takes about three months for people to do that. There's a lot. That's why when I do it in a day, do you rather spend five pound in three months or would you rather spend a grand and do it in a day? That's that's, a, that's it, it's like, I'm not ripping anyone off, there's no scarcity, there's no unethical, like it's just a, it's a pure business model, it just worked. It's, you know, people respect it, it works, it's good, they get results, that's all that matters. They progress, what do they need next? Then when they get into the promote side of things, again, there's another online course. Or, what I've got at the moment is my six week program. This is, where I'm spending all of my attention right now. This doesn't exist at the moment. 
this is next. This is what's coming next. I don't know yet. We're trying to figure this out. I'm trying to build this at the moment. But that's good, because you should always, always have a what's next. What's next? Like, people are so rigid in building out their sales funnels. They're like, this is my opt-in. This is my uh, minimum viable product. This is my core offer. This is my upsell. Like, mm, we're going to use that model. Problem is, once they've done that, what's next? Because people need to, like the people that are in my six week program, at the end of six weeks, they want to make more money. They want to get more sales. They want to create new products. Like there's always another level for coaching. So at the moment, this is like an ongoing coaching platform. Maybe I'll do retreats. I don't know. We'll see what we're going to do. There's a lot of options and things we can do here. And maybe we'll create a whole new product matrix. Maybe we'll do something different. But the whole idea behind this is you've got this, at the moment for me, this six week program, this is where I took 20 people and I charged them 997 each. Happy with that. 20 people at 997. The next time I run this, which is actually on the 1st of May, it's going to be 10 people and it's going to be at 1997 because I've already put the price up because that was far too cheap. Anyone that's doing my course at the moment, you speak to them, anyone will tell you that's stupid. Shouldn't have done it. My mistake. I wanted to add value. I wanted to get the testimonials. I wanted to get the case studies. They're more than happy. Do you know what? Actually, I'm more than happy. Um, that works out really well. I've already got three people from this into here. So I only actually got seven spaces available at 1997 for people that want to come on. You wanted an upsell, I've given it to you. You told me how you can get involved. If that ain't sold you in, do you know what? Doesn't matter, I'm not doing it for that reason. I'm doing it to show you that this is my product matrix. This is what I'm doing, okay? Forget this, I'm not interested in selling you this right now. I'm just showing, I'm only giving it to you to show you what I'm doing and how I'm using this. So if you can map this and see it in my business, how can you apply it to your own? This isn't about me right now. This isn't about telling you what I'm doing. This is about you taking what I'm doing, figuring out, okay, how can I map this and use this in my business, for my world? So whatever it may be for you. But that is my product matrix, the trinity of trinities. What do you think? Let me know. I'm gonna read through the comments really quickly and then I'm done. That's it for today. Lesson is over. Uh, let's have a quick look through these comments. Uh, I don't know, for some reason, um, I can't scroll back through the comments. Stephanie, good to see you. Stephanie will tell you, she's one of my clients. Stephanie, what do you think of the value of my six week program so far? What's the value of it for you? Do you think this is worth 997? So me charging 997 for this, is that just right? Is it too cheap or is it too expensive? Because that right now, this is five pounds. This is, like, there's different prices for this, but let's just say 147, that's a thousand. So here's the thing, this is how I sold it, by the way. I told you I was gonna give you something at the end. This is how I sold it. A one day consultation with me is a thousand pounds. Now people pay that, because here's the thing, I could tell you that I charge 250 pound an hour, but that's irrelevant if no one's buying from me. You are only valued at what the market will pay. So if the market isn't willing to pay it, then you're not worth shit. Just need to understand and appreciate that. You're only worth what people will pay. So I have people pay me 250 an hour. They pay me a thousand pound a day because they see the value in that. So when I turn around and say, you can have one day with me for a thousand pounds, or you can have unlimited access for six weeks for the same price, what are people gonna go for? Like it's a no brainer, right? But the only way they can do this is if they've already been through this stage. Like, people have to progress. So you have to start here to go here to go here. How much is your promotional course? Uh, you're talking about the online promotional course that I've got, it's 17 pounds. 17 pounds for that one. It's on my website, you can see it. Steve, PM me, educate me. I'm educating you now, you don't need a PM for me. I haven't got time to sit and PM you, my friend, and personally, if you want me to PM you, then you can pay me and I'll do it one-on-one. -on -one. This is a group environment. This is what I do for free to give value. I'm educating you right now, my friend. Take it, use it, this is yours. There's, I've got so much content out there for you to go through. If you wanna work with me, then pff, that's the only option right now, my friend. First of May, two grand, come on my course. I'm, I, I'm not in a position to do anything else at the moment. I'm just, it's too much going on, my friend. Um, and I don't want a reward. Thank you so much. I'm grateful. Please give it to someone else. At the moment, I am, I'm really not, like, I'm, I, I'm really grateful. And thank you. Thank you so much. I like, I'm grateful for that. I just, I'm saying this with respect. I can't, I can't take anything else on right now. I'm so full up with everything I'm doing. I just, I really need to just focus on what I'm doing. 
Easily well worth it, been on a lot of courses and the detail and focus of your course is such a welcome relief. I don't need to be mollycoddled, I need the whole course truth. Yeah, I mean, we've had some interesting conversations, me and Stephanie, but do you know what? She's out there taking action, it's phenomenal. And, in, and here, here's an interesting point. So um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna give you this as, a, as an example. Um, I was with um, a client who was telling me about how they had um, advice off of lots of different experts. I'm not gonna name any names, but these are names that we all know. Okay, they constantly pop up in our news feed, they're always there, they're always promoting themselves as I'm doing this and I'm doing that, and they've had success. And they said, these are some things that you should do. You need to do this and this and this and this and this and this. And they, t they basically got, um, got this person to change all their website. As a result, their website went from a website that was engaging, that had traffic that was working, to nothing. Like, it, it literally, and here's, here's why. Because, and this is a good lesson to learn, they didn't split test. Rather than saying, this is what I've got, these are my results, and I'm going to test this to see which results are better, they just took the advice off of this expert, this is why I say don't listen to me. They took the advice off of the expert and they just applied it, trusting that it would work, and it didn't work. You should never take what I'm saying as gospel, you should never take what I'm saying as this is the truth. I don't know what you need in your business. I don't know what's right for you. I don't know what you should create here. All I know is that you should get something out there because you can't test nothing. So you get something out there, you start getting some results, and then you tweak it and you compare version A with version B. And you just see which works better. And you just progressively get better and better and better. That's what experience is. That's what knowledge is. That's why people are like, you could, there's no such thing as overnight success. You can't just take, no one that's, done, that's got success is just going to give you everything they've got and be like, there you go. Like, they'll, they'll give you a map and a strategy so you can apply it for yourself. But no one's just going to hand over their keys to, oh, look, I've worked my whole life for my Ferrari. Here's the keys. Like, they won't. But they'll be like, here, here's some stuff you can do to buy your own. Like, and that's what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm not gonna give you like all of my content and all of my stuff, but I'm gonna show you how I create it so you can go and create it for yourself. But the only way you're gonna know if this works is if you test it. You have to test it at every step of the way. Everything you do, test it. Test, 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 constantly. This isn't a build it and it's done. I'm sorry, but it's just, it doesn't work like that. This is continuous, never ending, relentless shit. It just constantly keeps going. There's problems, there's issues, there's hassles. And if you don't like it, then get a job. Don't be here doing this unless you're prepared. You need to love this. Whatever it is you're doing, whatever this outcome is, whoever this person is that you're trying to help, whoever this is, you need to love helping that person so much that you're prepared to go through this to help them. Because if you're not, it's just not worth even getting involved in. Honest truth. I'm gonna look through some of these comments and I'm gonna let you guys go. Um, awesome, guys. I'm sorry, I don't know why, but Facebook won't let me scroll up. So anyway, that's it for today, product matrix. So just draw yourself, get a bit of A4 paper, draw yourself a grid, and just look up, skill along the bottom, three different products, entry level, intermediate, advanced, budget, cheap, um, you know, medium, high ticket. High ticket items should be your time, low ticket items should be automated, and you need to understand how you're gonna map out your journey from A to B. I would recommend if you've got three different products, Varying skill levels, each one of them should have a different budget option so that you're capturing as much of the marketplace as possible. Okay, Steve, I have a good problem. I have an overload of leads and I don't know what to do. That is an amazing problem to have. Look, I'm more than happy to have a chat with you. I can't take any of, I, like, I, I'm not taking on business at the moment, so I really, I'm not here to, like, if you've got an overload of leads, I'd need to know what leads they are. I'd need to know what it is you're doing, my friend. Um, how qualified those leads are, what those leads need. Uh, what market and industry you're in. So look, I, I can point you towards some people that can help you. There's probably people that can comment below and can help you. So just just put, um, <laughs> no rewards, my friend. But it's all good, look, I'm grateful. So just type down below. Let me know in the comments, put down what you do, right? Put down, this is what I do, this is what I need, and then people will come and comment. You know, this will have a lot of views, so people will come and comment. And guys, connect. Like, this is a community, right? Connect with each other, work. I'm just here, I'm the messenger. I'm just here to give you this so you can go and use it. I, I, I honestly, I'm not doing it for any other reason at the moment. Um, you love this framework? Good, use it. And then, let me know what that is. Like, send me a message. Say, hey, look, here's my framework. I wanna see it. I'm interested. Have an amazing day. I'll speak to you tomorrow, midday. Take care, goodbye.